well, not just baked goods, they apparently also have some vegetables here, like corn, pumpkins, and blood. Actually, my mistake, I believe blood is a fruit, not a vegetable. The hatchet, I think, is the best melee weapon in the game. The hatchet is the fastest weapon, and uh, oh, they also offer brains. They offer brains and uh, and onions. The hatchet is the fastest weapon in the game. It can hit multiple times. Uh, it doesn't have the range of the home run bat, but I think its speed makes up for it. And here we have two crash test dummies to test out our new hatchet whip. The hatchet is able to knock down a dummy in one hit. I do get a too, uh, too enthusiastic here though in trying to show the hatchet, and I do get hit a few times. But it'll only take a few hits to take out these crash test dummies, and as you can see, Randy is swinging around the hatchet much faster than any other character has been able to use a weapon. There's actually nothing else here for us besides the hatchet. This is a very this is a rather large room and there are many traps along the sides as well as that enemy encounter as you saw but there's really nothing else here for us there's an item right here that looks like it should be important because it's guarded by three traps but as we'll see this item doesn't actually do anything so this entire side of the room actually turns out to be a red herring Run on! So yes, that delicious baked cake that we picked up, you might think it has some use or perhaps it is just a healing item. In fact, it is neither. That cake actually cannot do anything. It's just there to fake us out. But now that we have the hatchet, we can leave the baked goods section and travel back down. There's a spot here that's very easy to get caught by a trap. Once you leave the baked goods section and go down the stairs, there are potential trap spots to all sides of you, so there really isn't a safe place to walk. At this point, we're now entering the food court where there is a certain exuberant pastry who's waiting to see us. But before we speak to him, let's take a look at the fast food counter here.
let's just have a look at what's on the menu here. Mm, a delicious burger for a mere $5,500. As you can see, Donald Cashman is morally against the idea of a dollar menu. And again, I think it's pretty obvious why this store was not breaking even, despite the presence of a, a jumping one-eyed layer cake. I am the cake from hell, <laughs> but I need something more to be a complete cake. A cake I'd be proud to be. I feel like the top of my head needs something glorious, or should I say, glorious to crown me. What do you have that I could wear as a decoration, hmm? So we cannot pass by until we satisfy the cake's desire for a missing ingredient. But before we see what we can offer the cake, let's have just have a, a trip into this ice cream corner down here. There are a couple traps, but if we hug the right wall, we'll be out of the range of them. And another crash test dummy appears, this one to keep us away from our frozen treats, but we can't have that, so let's make short work of this guy with the hatchet. And we can see just how fast the hatchet can be swung. It also does seem to have more power than a lot of the melee weapons we've had so far. And we'll see an example of that as there's another old friend that we can try out this hatchet on a little bit later. Maybe the cake would appreciate our sweet strawberry, so let's see if this is the ingredient that he's looking for. And no, that was not what he wanted. So let's see if maybe he wants that cake we picked up. Perhaps he wants to add another layer on top. No, no, I don't need this! No, he did not, he did not want that one either. Well, he wanted uh, a topping that could be considered to be the goriest. So the only option, really, is the severed head. The perfect topping. Oh, yeah. This is just what I needed. Complete at last. Thanks to you. I'm complete again. Why not take me with you? This head makes me look so fabulously fiendish, darling. By the way, for great strength and energy, why not take a bite of me? So now that we've made a new friend, we can take him with us. Eating the cake will restore all of our health to full, like a steak dinner. Now there's a hassie around here somewhere that I guess a, a customer left half drink drunk before he was murdered by Donald Cashman. Now that we have that, we can go down into the next floor where we will be entering the meat aisle of the department store as apparently this department store has a supermarket as a part of it. But before we enter the meat aisle, 
we'll save our game here at Dummy Man's photo box and continue our search for Donald Cashman next time on Let's Play Yo Bleed.